My question is to the Minister for Small Business. Minister, on the weekend you pointed at small businesses and said they needed to get their staff vaccinated and you said lockdowns would continue until 70 per cent of the community had been vaccinated. And I ask, given your urging small businesses to have their staff vaccinated, what percentage of the Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions staff are currently fully vaccinated? Minister, or Minister Pulford. Thank Mr Davis for his question. Um, Mr Davis, is, well, the pretext of his question is um, fundamentally inaccurate. Um, I have been meeting with hundreds and hundreds of people from uh, the business community to brief them and talk them through questions and answers on uh, the current restrictions that apply both in Melbourne and regional Victoria. The, um, the, uh, the comment, and Mr Davis I think is, um, is being uh, pretty cheeky in the way that he's verbalising it, um, related to um, a conversation that I've had with pretty much everyone I've spoken to online, in forums, uh, in um, interactions with people, um, encouraging uh, them to, if they are eligible, be vaccinated. This is consistent with uh, the health advice uh, of, um, well, well, most, in fact, perhaps all epidemiologists on the planet and is entirely consistent with um, the messages uh, that our Chief Health Officer uh, and Public Health Team, that the Minister for Health and indeed everyone from this government, indeed many members from the opposition, uh, have been encouraging people to take up, um, take up the opportunity to be vaccinated at the earliest opportunity. And so when I had probably around... 450 or so people at various forums, more actually. Um, I did take the opportunity to encourage people as uh, business and community leaders, and many community leaders involved in those briefings as well, um, that where the opportunity presented it to the, uh, itself to them, um, it would be great if they could encourage vaccination. Um, and so the, um, the the 70% um, comment um, Mr Davis um, is referring to um, was uh, very much an observation that 2% is not very much. So I spent most of my days talking to people, talking to people in the business community who want to know when the international borders can open, they want to know uh, when we will return uh, to a pre-pandemic way of life. And the answer to that question, of course, is when there is a widespread rate of vaccination. Um, so in terms of um, uh, the specific question about the rate of vaccination uh, in my department, I can take that on notice and if that information is available, um, I will um, provide Mr Davis with further advice. Um, I'm not, I, to my, the best of my knowledge, I do not know if the department is keeping that information about staff. I know that the department did make flu vaccinations available uh, to all staff and I'm sure plenty of people took themselves up there. Um, the vaccines aren't mandated. Thank you, Minister. Mr Davis on a supplementary. Well, President, um, the conclusion is the Minister's walking away from her statements in the Herald Sun. And the second point I would, I would make is that um, she wants to walk away from the need for her to advocate inside her department. And I therefore ask as a supplementary, and I therefore ask as a supplementary, Given the AstraZeneca vaccine has been available for many, many months, what percentage of over 50s in the Department of Jobs, Precincts and Regions have had at least their first jab? Minister. Uh, thank you. Um, and again, um, if that information is available, um, then I'm happy to uh, provide it to Mr Davis. I'm not sure that it is. And unlike um, members of the Liberal Party, um, we uh, respect uh, the right to privacy of health records of individuals, unlike some of this filthy behaviour we saw overnight from the shadow treasurer. But I am absolutely an advocate for vaccinations. I could probably tell you to, to reasonable degree the people in the department that I've been meeting with and their vaccination status because it is a conversation that comes up each and every day. Uh, so, um, so if Mr Davis is somehow um, covering up for the federal government on vaccinations or whatever he's doing, um, I encourage 
everybody who is eligible to be vaccinated to take up the opportunity because I care very deeply about our small businesses and people in our community and the sooner we have a high thank rate you. of vaccination, Bad the more order. certain you, and confident Minister. they can be I'm, about I'm, their position.